are in the final days of 2022 and that just feels so wrong <laughs> and I don't know also so right part of me is kind of excited for 2023 I'm not gonna lie I haven't actually articulated that until right now but when I think about it I just have a good feeling about the year so I'm kind of excited today is December 30th we got two days left of 2022 and we are going to make the most of it honestly I'm just I'm so excited because I feel like my final days of every year consist of getting my shit together because I love going into a new year with my hair done and my nails done and just like everything done really i love buying new makeup products i love revamping my space so we're gonna be doing a lot of that and then ending everything off with amazing new year's plans tomorrow it's gonna be so much fun <laughs> One of the greatest feelings is when you have an idea for an outfit in your head and when you actually put it on in person, it looks even better than you thought it was going to. And that happened to me today and I'm very happy. So I'll show you guys the look. If I do say so myself, we're ending off this year with some very good outfits. So my t-shirt is from Urban Outfitters. It's just a Chicago Bulls t-shirt. Underneath, I'm wearing one of the Uniqlo Heat Tech turtlenecks. This trench coat I got from my mom, it's leather. It's like my pride and joy, I'm obsessed with it. Pants are from Zara, and then my shoes are from the Fry Company. And they have red laces, which really pulls it all together. I actually just filmed a TikTok of me putting together this outfit, and depending on how I like it and how you guys end up liking it, I might make that more of a thing in the new year because I definitely wanna try and focus more on fashion content because it's the kind of content that I think inspires me the most. So we'll see how that goes, but for the time being, it was kind of fun, so maybe I'll do another one. I'm about to run out and run some errands. I feel like post-holiday, there's always a bunch of stuff for me to do, whether it be making returns or exchanges or whatever the case may be. It also helps that today it is a beautiful day, 50 to five degrees and absolutely beautiful. So I will be spending as much time as possible outside as long as I have everything that I need. Keys, AirPods, wallet, rings on, and we're good. something so satisfying to me about going into the new year with fresh products and just really feeling like you're going in with a blank slate across many aspects of your life so what I like to do is towards the end of the year just splurge on all the things that I need to buy that way I'm not doing so in the very beginning of the year when I'm setting myself a new budget so I'll give you guys a haul I went to Sephora but I only got one thing the rest of the stuff in here is from CVS lots of makeup refills in here first of which is the L'Oreal telescopic mascara also got my Myself a new eyebrow gel for Maybelline. This is actually a new purchase for me. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I've heard really good things about this and I just ran out of my primer so figured we'd give it a shot. Also got myself some ramen from CVS which is gonna be my dinner and then from Sephora I got the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. They've actually been stocking up on these a little bit more frequently recently and I've been wanting to try the Contour One especially because the other day I did another Sephora stock up. We could just do a whole haul. I did another Sephora stock up where I got a darker shade of my Hollywood Flawless Filter, the Peach Gasm Charlotte Tilbury Blush Stick, and a refill of my favorite bronze. Bronzer, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Quite the haul, I know, but that also means that I'm not gonna be buying makeup for probably the first two months of 2023, which is pretty good. <laughs> the last day of 2022. That is so bizarre, but we are ending this year the same way that we pretty much started it, and that is with a class at 305 Fitness. Honestly, going to these workout classes is the best thing that I started doing this year. It's definitely given me a place of community in the city. It's given me more of a purpose on mornings where I don't really feel like doing anything, and I feel so much stronger. So 
this is just a word of encouragement even if it's not these classes or workout classes in general it's so important to move your body in whatever way makes you feel confident and beautiful and i found mine so i hope next year you find yours woke up super early this morning to wash off myself tan it honestly it looks good with the exception of little spots on my shoulders and my chest i went to florida a few weeks ago and i didn't burn but my skin started peeling evidently so the self tan definitely stuck to that a little bit but honestly it's not noticeable in person i can just notice it because it's my body i have to leave in like two minutes but i wanted to make myself some breakfast so i made myself some oatmeal and we're going to be doing this workout class for the first time with my new sneakers that i got for christmas these are the nike air maxes and they're basically identical to the other sneakers i was using except those were force ones so we're leveling up the workout game in 2023 starting with these shoes oh that was what a mess happened and maybe i always get like this at the end of the year i think it's part reminiscent and part just like a little bit of fear because when you're going into a new year you have no idea what's gonna come with it but something about that class just turned my day around completely so i'm feeling a lot better and now i'm back and i'm gonna take a long shower started the getting ready process. I'm wearing my pajamas that I got for Christmas. These are from Everjay and they're the comfiest things in the world. I've been wanting a pair of these pajamas for a while and they're totally worth the hype. The price tag is hefty but I promise you it's worth it. I took my shower after my workout class and then sat on my couch and watched four movies. I feel like anytime there's a big event and I know that other people are like this, something like New Year's or something like, I don't know, really anything you're looking forward to, the time in between waking up and when you can start getting ready for that event, feels like the longest time period in the world. And that's what today felt like. So I've kind of just been killing time watching movies. Of course, I watched New Year's Eve. It only felt right. And now we are fully getting ready for the night. It is almost 9 p.m. Our reservation at American Bar is at 10.30. And we want to make sure that we're ready and dressed so we have time to take pictures and pregame a little bit before heading over to the restaurant. I feel like that TikTok sound. It's like, oh, how I love being a woman. Because I do. Like, little things like this, like putting on a cute matching PJ set, and getting ready and doing your makeup and blasting music with your friends like those are simple things that unfortunately i'm not sure if a lot of men are able to appreciate in the same way so i just i love these things it makes me so happy I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer the one thing i'm pissed about is i forgot to film a before for a before and after tiktok like i wanted to like film me when i wasn't looking all cute and then Show me what I am looking all cute, but I forgot to do the before. So we're just gonna have to do it looking cute. <laughs> This stunning set is from Tularosa off Revolve. I'll have it linked down below. Honestly, not even for New Year's, but any formal event, I definitely recommend that you guys get this. It makes me feel so pretty. And I think it also comes in different colors, if I remember correctly. So if this isn't your vibe, I think they have one that is.
gorgeous. <laughs> Happy New Year. to a lot of my other friends i'm doing just fine but i still feel like a shell of a human being yesterday was so much fun i think i've officially determined that that is how i want to spend all of my new year's going forward because it was so easy and it was so low-key but at the same time it was so much fun we got a 10 30 reservation we went to our favorite restaurant we ordered a bunch of drinks and really good food and we just hung out and it was great girl time and I loved every second of it, but my body is really paying the price. I will say though, nothing cures a hangover quite like going for a walk. I feel very lucky that today was a beautiful day. It was like 55 degrees and obviously I wanted to like be outside for as long as humanly possible. So we went and got breakfast and then I just like took a walk for as long as my body could take. And I feel a lot better. I think the thing that is just making me feel like garbage right now is the fact that I slept maybe four hours because when I drink, my body just wakes me up at the ass crack of dawn, always. But if it weren't for that, I feel like I'd be fine. Also, can we just talk about the fact that the B-Real went off last night, like the minute before midnight? That was beautifully executed. I also somehow lost my keys in my apartment. Like, I got into the building with them, so like where they could be, I have no idea. Bedroom is the size of a shoebox. Where could it have gone? Why am I literally crying? I think I'm crying because I'm just really proud of myself. You guys are everything to me and your continuous support means the world.